While George Harrison often carried the moniker of the Quiet Beetle, it certainly wasn't always accurate. This label might have been more reflective of the dynamic within the Beatles, where Paul McCartney and John Lennon's creative control and Ringo Starr's vibrant personality overshadowed Harrison's quieter presence. Harrison, though, was not just a backdrop to this ensemble. His kindness and spiritual integrity, underscored by a relentless honesty, distinguished him in the group. Harrison's fascination with Eastern musical traditions set him apart from his bandmates. His exploration of the sitar was a testament to his eagerness to diverge from the mainstream pop trajectory, signaling his preference for music that was both lyrically deep and musically innovative. In a revealing 1976 interview with India Today, long after the Beatles had disbanded, Harrison shared his views on the state of pop music, lamenting its decline but noting a few artists like Smokey Robinson and Stevie Wonder, and his admiration for anything by Bob Dylan as the few bright spots in an otherwise lacklustre landscape. However, Harrison did not hold all artists in such high regard. He expressed a clear disdain for Elton John, criticising him for a perceived lack of originality and suggesting his music was formulaic. His music is made to a formula, throw in lyrics, throw in four chords, shake well, and there it is, the new Elton John super hit, Harrison added. Similarly, Rod Stewart didn't escape Harrison's critical eye. Despite acknowledging an improvement in Stewart's music, Harrison disparaged his intelligence, saying, the guy himself, he's got a brain that's as small as a marble. David Bowie, despite his fame and collaboration with John Lennon, also failed to impress Harrison. The Beatles guitarist was particularly critical of Bowie's flamboyant stage personas and ambiguous sexuality, indicating a preference for more straightforward musical expressions. David Bowie ought to make up his mind what sex he is and then decide what kind of music he wants to play," Harrison concluded. Despite attempts by mutual friend Eric Idle to bridge the gap between Harrison and Bowie, it seems a warm relationship was never in the cards. Idle's recollections in his 2018 memoir highlight the disconnect, portraying Harrison's indifference to Bowie's personality as well as his talents. Harrison's candid opinions reflect a musician unafraid to critique his contemporaries, a man whose quiet demeanour belied a deep engagement with the musical world around him. His integrity and honesty in expressing his views on music and artists remain a fascinating aspect of his legacy, illustrating the depth of character behind the quiet Beatle facade.